lovely star seeds if you want to book your personalized readings whether they are about your love life if you're confused about someone uh, and you want to know that what is uh, future god in store for you and this love connection you're lovely to take a personal consultation from your astro friend sara and if there's something about your profession which you like to discuss uh you know some time period that you're going through some trials or tribulations which you're experiencing at your work front you're welcome to come in and seek uh, the celestial cosmic guidance from your astro friend sara and also uh, you know if you want to set up some new industry some new business some new venture you're welcome again to take the guidance of the lovely planets and the cosmos and the constellations through your medium which is your alchemist your mystic sara so you're most welcome to consult uh, the number given here in the logo and there in the description <laughs> and i'm going to do your highly personalized readings so we've got a panel of astrologers here and uh, but if you want personalized uh, readings from me so i'll do it for you you're welcome to contact our office i always forget to say this and my mother reminded me that listen go and record this and put this <laughs> that you welcome all the new entrants and all the lovely star seeds in the fam here that you're welcome for a personalized session so from sara from my wonderful channel sara astro tarot um take care and I'm a very warm welcome to my lovely star seeds This is your astro friend Sara welcoming you to my YT channel Sara Astro Tarot. It's been a few days since I couldn't do any shooting recording for my beautiful star seeds and I really really missed you. I really missed connecting with your energies and I was busy with lots of um, nakshatras and astrology sessions and also Tarot oracle readings, and I was traveling a lot as well. That kept me away from shooting. So this is my very special gift to my lovely star seeds after the commencement of Navratri, and this recording I'm doing on the the Sarah day. So it's very special. And imagine, guess what's the topic? <laughs> the topic is that. Um, when they lay down your favorite person who you're thinking about when he or she they lay down on their um uh, bed and their comfort zone at night in their subconscious what do they think about you so in their quiet subconscious spaces which they don't tell you they don't share with you what are they thinking about you at night so uh, the first edition was a big super hit and uh, i thought why not make a second edition so but this is different it's the subconscious thoughts about you so while in pile selection the first ganesha is the stone how light this is the first ganesha lord ganesha and the second you can meditate on this this is pile 1 for you and the second is peri dot that's the second lord ganesha if you can meditate that's pile 2 for you and my beautiful pile 3 is the tiger's eye you can meditate on the tiger's eye this is pile 3 so i'm going to pick up all three and show you once again and you see which you resonate the most with these are the three stones for you I'm going to send a picture wherein you can meditate and you can see that out of the three piles the how light the peri dot and the tiger's eye which are you most closely resonating with So I'm beginning the reading for my lovely pile number 1 this is the how light this is the how light the beautiful white ganesha so what is it signifying it's signifying anger peace angels 
that's what they think about you when they lay in their private spaces in their subconscious that you're just like an angel and you're so extremely spiritual they feel a very spiritual connection with you and also they feel that you're a an angry young girl or you're an angry young boy why do i use the boy and the girl further in the tarot analysis you will understand so this also signifies all the chakras so this stone now at this point of time you could be experiencing all these things that's why you've selected this pile number 1 this particular stone so at this point of time you could be they could also think and you could also be experiencing issues with your uh, bones maybe some pain here and there in your teeth with your bones or with your skeleton system that's definitely there so please watch out take care these are the messages from the universe through lord ganesha for you and also this is going to bring you great amount of mental awareness so they think you're mentally very agile you're very aware and also <clears throat> you're very good at dealing with situations that's what they think about you and also you're very diplomatic at this point of time which is quite good it's quite lovely and also <clears throat> you know at this point of time they could be thinking that you've really learned how to ground your rage and your temper and also mm, at this point of time since they're thinking about you at night they are experiencing insomnia <laughs> and maybe you're also experiencing insomnia because you're so thinking about what they think about you so if you meditate on this form of lord ganesha you will definitely have restfulness and peaceful sleep and also this is a stone which will make you deeply spiritual that's what he or she think about you that you're deeply spiritual and they also want to connect with you on the spiritual zones and also <clears throat> this kind of uh, energy is also suggesting that you will uh, be connecting with them and also your ancestor spirit guides will give you good amount of guidances whenever required and also you will be experiencing uh, past life connections with this partner or whoever you're thinking in your mind and they also feel that they are very soul connected to you and also you will be having a lot of meditativeness they will also think about you that you're meditative and you also will connect in your meditative spaces with the person in your mind so that's the energy of the stone which you picked up and then in tarot we have the page of wands now the page of wands suggests that the person whoever you're thinking about in your mind is younger to you <laughs> in age and um, if not in age you think that they're not younger to you then maybe in their uh, spirit they are younger and uh, there is this energy of being immature also so the immaturity uh, could also be significant or maybe in age they are younger to you the woman or the man whoever you're fantasizing about or whoever you're thinking about and also the thing is that um, we can also see that there is inspired true potential in this association that they feel about you when they lay in their subconscious spaces quietly at night and also they feel that um you know uh, your thoughts are very inspiring to them they have yet to take action on your account but they find you truly very potential a very potential match and also you know we can understand that they think that you have great energy and also they have lots of fiery ideas about you now the element which is represented by the page of uh, wands is the fire element and it rules over the zodiac sign of aries and the ruling planet is mars so there is a lot of passion there's a lot of impulsiveness there's a lot of rush of romance 
which they feel about you in their subconscious and they also feel that you have all these qualities of being very passionate very intense and also sense of what should i say uh you know quickly quickly getting into a relationship maybe your association with this love interest happened very quickly maybe you couldn't think much on this association and you already found yourself being very fascinated and may- maybe very much in love with this person and they also feel that the connection happened extremely fast and very intense and also you could be they they in their subconscious think that they want to take a new journey they want to embark upon a new journey with you and also this speaks about some new opportunities which they feel they could have with you and also you know maybe there is no solid plan at this point of time but wherever they want to head in the relationship with you they're also not certain about the uh, possibilities but definitely the excitement is a lot about the possibilities though the sure shot factor might not be there but it's also that they mm, you know dream a lot about you and they have wonderful creative ideas whatever they want to do with you and also you know the they are very unfettered with the daily burdens of the everyday life and nothing will get into the way of their dreaming about you so that's really lovely and uh, the association is very impulsive there is this need to rush into the things and maybe you know a good amount of calculation is not there so the impulsiveness and the fieriness and the intenseness is there and also they find you very good looking and they find you extremely well dressed very graceful and they're very attracted to you because physically they find you very very appealing so that's the energy of the ace of wands for you then we have next on line what they think about you in their subconscious we've got the devil's energy which means that they find you this is the capricorn energy and the stone associated with this is obsidian that's for your information but they find you uh extremely goal oriented and they find you that nothing can stop you till you reach your goal and they find you great leaders and they find you to have very powerful individualistic ideas and they also think that you're their loyal friend they can absolutely trust you and also they are very very obsessed about you they find you in great status in great success and also they find you in a position wherein they can look up to you this could also feel that i i get a feeling that um you know they are obsessed and in awe with your status with your position and your power and also this could be a energy wherein maybe there are misunderstandings maybe they on a closer look can understand you better but at a distance maybe there is some amount of misunderstanding which they are experiencing with you but um, this speaks about uh maybe they find you to be a uh, little manipulating in the situation or maybe you know the um devotion which you are experiencing for them and they are experiencing for you maybe at this point of time it's misguided but at the same time they feel that you're spiritually extremely awakened so and you also have this energy they feel that you're striving to be the best and also to get the best version of them so this also shows that they think that you will get how you want nothing but the best for yourself and they think you will attract only the best so that's very wonderful and also they feel you have great propensity to reach the top and this is quite coinciding with the energy of the page of wands and also your stone the how light which you chose so 
there is lots of obsession which they have for you and there is this feeling of you know maybe they feel that they will always get dependent upon you so maybe they are even running away a little far away from you because they feel that they have great propensity to get obsessed by you and also being hopelessly uh, i don't know what to say hopelessly addicted to you and also there could be this codependency they feel that they could get very trapped and they could you know be enslaved to you and maybe at this one of time this partner who you're thinking about maybe they have association or relationship with somebody else and that relationship is not very happy they feel very binded they feel very limited in the association and at this point of time they also have a opportunity to break free from that association which is solving no purpose which is uh, disrespectful which is um, a association which is not giving them the freedom which they desire so maybe you are giving them all this freedom and all this um, you know what should i say being released from the enslaved position so they seek association with you because they want to go beyond the limitations which are there in their previous or in their present association so um you know they could feel that you're not very happy with your life at this point of time or maybe they are not very happy with their life or you know whatever romantic situation they have with you they're not happy with it at this point of time why because they want to seek changes you know this self restricting behavior which they are having or maybe you are having towards them they really want to um break free and also this will the energy of the devil will allow you also to break free from your illusions and also you know over indulgence addictions could be experienced at this point of time maybe they uh, get into their zones of intoxication at this point of time some addictions uh, it could be with drinking it could be with overeating or maybe uh, i don't know maybe some substance abuse smoking or whatever so um this they are taking as a mode of distraction because you know the uh, present association which is painful which they want to get out of they want to come to you so they don't probably know how to do all this so they are probably finding comfort in doing these things they are taking it as a distraction so um and you don't allow the energy of the devil to tempt you if you think this uh, association uh, could not yield into what you so desire so don't get tempted i mean um, apply your sensibility and apply your judicious self your judicious mind and evaluate yourself other situation and also your partner feels that you have a very strong and a very dominant and a very powerful personality and also your thoughts and actions uh, are very very um, they lead to your destiny and also you could feel that maybe their energy is very dominant and very overpowering and also you could be experiencing uh some confidence issues you're not sure how your partner thinks about you that also could be there but your partner feels that you're um very powerful at your work and you're very good at the job that you do though you could be very overburdened at this point of time in your profession and maybe your partner also is very overburdened so they could not give you the amount of time and the amount of care which you require because they feel very overburdened uh, with their unstable condition in their workplace and also they might be experiencing some unhappy bondages which they have to deal with so that's the energy of the devil for you so next in line we have that the conclusions are within the reach 
this is the energy of the full moon eclipse so these are the powerful messages which the universe wants to tell you in this situation of yours that what are they thinking about you in their subconscious self at night that uh, whatever situation you're asking about in your subconscious and whatever you're thinking about it's reached its peak and it's really out of your hands you really don't know uh, how to deal with the partner what are they thinking and what are they not thinking so things are really now at its peak and definitely not in your control so what you're experiencing now is what your soul signed up for it's a way for you to learn and it's also a way for your soul to evolve so allow events to happen and allow them to unfold in front of you however they are unfolding and also be easy about them and also be easy about yourself at this point of time and also mm, if you want to let go of someone or something maybe this particular person you know because we got the devil energy and before that we got the page of wands so if you're looking for marriage with this person or if you look if you're looking for settling down and you get a feeling that it might not happen it might not work so what you have to do that is the energy of the full moon eclipse you have to really really trust the universe and you have to learn that this is the time to let go of someone maybe this someone you're thinking about or maybe something which you're thinking about in your subconscious and know that this is the right time and it could be very hard but it's best if you just let go and also you know you need to forgive whoever is involved in this situation you really must learn to forgive and also when you forgive this is going to be the key to resolve the situation you are in and um, it won't make right but what they did uh, definitely you know your forgiveness and your let go will not make the whole event or the person right because um, you know uh, forgiveness is just to release you from the situation and from the event and from the person so forgiveness is the key for self realization and also for um, you being released so that you can move forward so that you can move on your beautiful path of success so the doors are slammed closed but uh, the doors are slammed closed now and they will not reopen so if you reached a point in your relationship wherein you know you feel that now probably there's no point of reconciliation there's no point to go back you've tried and tested all methods but nothing is working so this is the right time to move on because whatever is finished can never be revived again in the energy of the full moon eclipse and also it's time now to get beyond and go on fresher newer paths and forgiveness will set you free and it's also going to release you of your past life pending karmas and also meditation yoga pranayam and um, all this is a big yes for you at this point of time and also you know you let the events unfold and also and that's the message which i have for my beautiful pile number 1 so i want to request you that if you admire and if you appreciate the readings so in the form of blessings you can always subscribe to our lovely family of star seeds here at sara astro tarot so you do subscribe and if you appreciate the content you can give it a thumbs up and you're welcome to also share your feedback your comments did you resonate with pile 1 and also if you have some suggestions you're welcome to write down in the comment section and um, enjoy yourself have a happy life and let go whoever uh, the universe doesn't want you to stay with 
because somebody new, somebody wonderful and somebody who can claim your love and who can reciprocate and who can admire and appreciate you the way you should be admired and loved. So allow that person to come. And in the energy of file number one, I'd say let go happily, but uh, bind yourself to similar minded energies and here at our channel that's what we do we learn grow evolve together so from your friend sarah i'm gonna sign off for my pile number one om namah shivaya and take care of yourself lots of love bye starseeds bye my pile number one bye a very warm welcome to my pile number two my peri dots so um the topic is that in their subconscious at night, what do they think about you? So before I carry on the reading, I want to request you if you've already not subscribed, please subscribe to our wonderful channel and become a part of the Starseed family. And also if you appreciate the content, you're welcome to give it a thumbs up. And you can also post your comments, your suggestions, and also, did you resonate with the pile two energy? You're welcome to write that down as well. So, um, yeah. So pile number two, a very warm welcome to you. And that's the peri dot, which means that they think that you have uh, great encouragement in you. And also this is the stone which speaks about growth booster. So maybe they feel that you could grow together, like maybe you can work together, do business together, have a wonderful household together. So, and also this is a stone of emotional balance. So they feel that you have wonderful emotional balance in the association. And also this is the stone of a visionary. They think that you are a visionary. Wow. <laughs> so pile number two, this is also dealing with the heart chakra so of course they're very emotional about you and they have their matters of heart uh, stuck with you the you know love interest and the love association is definitely there and they do experience that their heart flutters and you know it also skips few beats when they think about you so that's definitely there <laughs> and also you know and this stone speaks of lots of emotional attachments so maybe they think that they are emotionally very attached to you it's really lovely and also you know they seek a lot of emotional balance in their association with you and they also experience wonderful emotional balance with you and also you know you're coming in their life is making them have supple energy of ideas so that's very wonderful i don't know the ideas are about yeah the ideas are uh, revolving around you that how beautiful and how fruitious life will be around you and in association with you and also you know this stone is responsible for healing depression so maybe ever since uh, you know you have come in their life they are getting healed their depressive spaces are getting happily healed and also this stone peridot is responsible for um, you know your lungs to function in a very balanced way and also it suggests that your immune system maybe going maybe their immune system or your immune system could be going through some trouble so meditating on the peridot can have reliefs and of course they think that you're very good for their immunity <laughs> so uh, that's my beautiful peridot stone your energies pulled out is the eight of swords so the eight of swords they feel that you know they feel very they feel that you're very trapped and they also feel that maybe you have too many choices around uh, beyond them you have other people also in the line and maybe you're very confused maybe you feel very trapped in the 
situation in the condition and they feel that you're very unable to make um, a choice and also it could be that you are unwilling to make a choice or maybe they are unwilling to make a choice so this kind of a situation in their subconscious is a little painful situation somebody maybe you or maybe them you're not able to make up your mind about this romantic association and at this point of time you know they feel that um they could be the worst enemy or maybe your your worst enemy because you're experiencing a lot of problems which are self created maybe they being unsure of you or your being unsure because of the multiple choices that you have this could be making the association a uh, little you know like uh, painful because you feel trapped and you're feeling unable to make a decision and so are they and also at this point of time maybe you know mm, there is fear there is misunderstanding and also uh, these kind of negative feelings could be preventing you or could be preventing them from feeling happy so all your problems at this point of time could be very self created so what you have to and created by your own minds so what you have to do that laying down the partner in question should have not his thoughts being scattered all over the place he should practice focus and you know meditating on the peri dot you and them you can gift it to them peri dot is available in our office so this beautiful lord ganesha could be gifted to them and also you could gift it and give it your intention and you could meditate on this and you will have great amount of focus because that scattering can be controlled by focus you know your mind uh, can exercise focus and also the energy which you feel is very dissipated he feels your energy is also dissipated because you know your partner so you could be mirroring each others uh views or each other's thoughts they could be a reflection of you so when i speak about them uh and if it resonates on you it's that you're mirroring your partner's energy so what you can do is that you can focus on the things and you can stop the scattering of the uh thoughts in your subconscious and also the self limiting attitude and the self limiting beliefs you could uh, release them because they are blocking your association the romance growth which you can have with your partner they are definitely blocking it so at this point of time in the energy of the eight of swords the universe and your spirit ancestor guides want to suggest that let go of the self limiting attitude and the self limiting beliefs because they are blocking your romantic growth with your partner and when you let go of your fears and you let go of your doubts and you trust the universe's plan then wonderful romance and wonderful partner will happen to you so at this situation in this particular situation their subconscious thoughts of you are a little sad hmm <laughs> they won't be sad for long don't worry <laughs> so um you have to um let go and you will not be without the resources which you require when you want to bring about changes in the matters because whenever this uh, card appears in the reading it suggests that the problems can be avoided so maybe you're imagining too many things and maybe they're actually not going to transpire at all so um uh um, at this point of time you could experience maybe some news which is not so um what should i say which is little sad little bad which has some amount of restrictions maybe some amount of embarrassment self consciousness some blame some slander you could be experiencing in the energy of the eight of wands but on the positive side if you see then uh something you something to create right and you could also be successful in some of your ways 
and also at this point of time do not make any rash decision and so in the energy of the queen of cups they think about you that you're very this is basically a very feminine energy and it's the cups energy speaks about the cancer so maybe your love interest has uh, their sun ascendant or moon in cancer so this speaks of the woman or the man that you feel that they're very mature very emotional and they have this you know if you're a man then she's extremely uh, feminine and she's got this very evolved feminine side of hers and if you're a she and you're looking at he then his feminine side and his she side is very evolved and is very developed so this speaks that you know they think that you're very feminine you're very happy intuitive there is great amounts of romance which they feel with you and also they physically find you extremely alluring very beautiful very pretty and they also think that you're a daydreamer that's what they also think about you and maybe you're a psychic and maybe your love interest is a psychic maybe they also practice astrology or they also do tarot or they are into uh, the occult sciences and the secret and mystic ways of life and you find them very psychically evolved and they could be empaths they could be healers and you find your love interest to be Uh, in your subconscious you think that they are very inspiring and they are uh, great listeners and they are wonderful counselors may I, maybe they are in this kind of a profession too and also you find them <clears throat> in your subconscious that they are very supportive they are very caring and they will make a great mother if they are if she is a woman and if it's a man they'll make a great father and also this signifies that um whichever woman you have in your life who's there when you're sleeping in your bed or on your lay or when you're laying down in your couch at night i mean she is very caring or he is very caring very supportive towards you and also they um, this also allows you to be mindful also that how do you treat others you also got to be very careful that how are you treating this love interest of yours and you have to treat her or him with great passion and sympathy because that's the queen of cups energy here and also this indicates that you know and you're very sensitive towards the outwards uh, towards the outer world and also that harsh actions or harsh words could really affect you more than you show to the outside world inwardly uh, any harsh things which are spoken to the love interest also could be impacting uh, internally more than externally so whenever the queen of cups is coming in a love reading that what do they think about you at night in any case the cancer energy is the nocturnal energy this is the night huntress because the ruling planet is moon and we all know that moon comes around when it's so dark it's it's such a dark space and then the beautiful moon comes to glow up to brighten up so maybe you know this love interest of yours has come in your life to brighten up to glow you up so the partner in question you think uh, in your subconscious is very sentimental is very emotional and but this energy speaks of the person in question to be very mature and feminine side is beautifully developed and also is very kind and is very caring and is very supportive to whatever you are all about and also this beautiful energy which you're thinking about is extremely sentimental is kind is a very sensitive soul and also a good listener and also this energy is a energy of a empath and also a lots of 
wonderful feelings they can decode of yours and uh, this kind of a partner is actually a perfect partner if i must say and also is the best friend and has propensity like i said to be a great parent and this energy is that you think that the partner in question or the person in question is very caring is very emotional and has lot of tendency to do daydreaming and this beautiful queen of cups is very intuitive very creative and they appreciate beauty a lot and they also see lot of beauty in you and they see you to be um you know you and them seemingly have a very very emotional and a very sensitive connection together and also this indicates that you know uh, maybe you're experiencing a time wherein so in love and in relationship at this point of time you could be experiencing great amount of care and fulfilling emotional security in your relationship and this also indicates that in your subconscious you think that you can have very open honest uh, dialogues with your loved ones with your loved one not once just one <laughs> so you can speak about your true feelings with this beautiful queen of cups energy and also in your relationship you can expect a very beautiful outcome and also uh, at this point of time if you're single and you're thinking about this love interest so this is a absolute right time this is the indication from the universe that a new romance is on the corner it's going to transpire and meeting if you are uh, interested in this person then definitely there is a beautiful romance which will culminate which is very warm very fulfilling loving caring and also you can expect lot of affection from this partner and also this partner could be shy and could be a introvert but very compassionate and very abundant and very loyal and this partner will be a very faithful and a very wonderful partner but you have to take care that you have to treat the partner very well and um this in the ways of business no we're talking about the night dreams now so let's leave the finance and the business but uh, this speaks of a partner who's very caring very supportive and also very compassionate so now let's check what's the universe's message for my lovely pile number 2 so it's time to give rather than take new moon in verb so my beautiful pile number 3 the suggestion from the universe to you in the new moon in virgo is that uh, whenever the energy of this card is coming around it's really time to take stock of your situation and wherever you are now wherever you want to go or wherever you whichever path you wish to seek So the new moon energy here in Virgo suggests for a restart. Maybe you know the partner who you're thinking about in your subconscious at night. Maybe things are stuck. Maybe you are experiencing a stagnation. Maybe things are stuck in a rut at this point of time. So what you have to do in the new moon's energy is that do a restart. It's suggesting a restart. So um and the restart is going to be simple and it's going to be very organized because this is the energy of the wonderful perfectionist virgo so the virgo energy is always so uh, refreshed it's so organized and it's so simple and it's so elegant so <laughs> so you know this also indicates that whoever you're thinking about in your subconscious maybe they are experiencing some health issues maybe you too are experiencing some health issues here at this point of time you're feeling unwell so your health from now in the new moon in virgo and your partner's health who you're thinking about at night like a night owl you wake up and you're thinking about this lovely partner so you both are going to heal 
you both are going to see a trend upwards in your conditions of health which is such a fabulous news and also you could practice some alternate therapies like with your partner whoever is on your mind you can uh, be out with them and you can go for some alternate healing uh, therapies you can do it cohesively with them and you can also try to change your food patterns because it suggests natural therapies so natural therapies means that you've got to work with your food so that's the suggestion because this could all add up uh, for the spice in your romance and your relationship and also at this point of time you really really with this sweet partner of yours with the wonderful queen of cups you're really over analyzing and you're also being very over critical with your partner and please don't do that because um, you know these kind of uh, habits are acting as uh, a blocking in your situation so you got to really control your urges of being the perfectionist and being over critical and over analytical in the energy of the new moon in virgo <laughs> so and also the virgos about servitude the virgos about serving you know when you serve people with your own hands like in the Gurdwara Sahib, they do the service with their own hands. That's the sixth house energy. That's the Virgo energy. When you go and you do service with your own hands and when you're doing extreme amount of hard work and um, instead of relying on other people to improve your situation here in your love life, you've got to do it yourself. And you could also go to the places of worship, the shrines, and you could do seva there. You could walk with your uh, beautiful hands and make them more beautiful. It'll have wonderful impact on your love life. And also you don't rely on anyone else beyond yourself. So when you rely on your own self and when you do service for others, your romance, your love uh, will only flow and it'll heal and so will your health heal, right? Because if you're not healthy, how can you go and meet your love interest? How can you spend time with her, right? You've got to be healed. You've got to be healthy to do that. And she or he also needs to be healthy to be coming and meet you. So also um, spend a good amount of time in, you know, doing the detailing. Your attention should be there on the detailing and gradually things will improve and things will be coming to you in a very improved state. And whoever you're thinking about in your mind, the universe's uh, answer is yes, they are very, very reliable in whatever ways. If you want to have friendship with them, they're going to be the best and the most reliable friend. And if you choose marriage, who could be perfect than the cancer? They are absolutely uh, the lovely homemakers, the perfect, perfect homemaker. So it's a big yes from the universe. And that's all that I have for my beautiful pile number two, my lovely Perry Dots. That's the reading for you. And do subscribe to my channel if you appreciate and become a member of the Starseed fam here at Sarah Astro Tarot. And do also write your comments. And if you appreciate the video, give it a thumbs up. So from your astro friend, Sara, I'm going to see you at some other video soon. So lots of love. Om Namah Shivaya. And take care of yourself. Bye, star seeds. Bye, my pal number two. See you. So a very warm welcome to my pal number three. So uh, if you appreciate the wonderful readings and the lovely content on Sarah Astro Tarot, so you're most welcome to subscribe if you already haven't and become a part of the Starseed fan. And uh, also if you appreciate the content, you're welcome to give it a thumbs up. And also do write in your comments. If you resonated with pile three, do write down your comments. So pile three, this is the tiger's eye for you and the tiger's eye what they think about you in their subconscious thoughts at night 
so they think that you're a stone of courage because this is the stone of courage so they find you very very courageous and also uh, the psychic protector they think you have wonderful psychic abilities and also they think you have great amount of confidence and also willpower because that's what the um, tiger eye suggests that's what this stone is all about and also you know since this stone is about encouraging great passion in life maybe they feel very passionately um, connected with you and also this triggers willpower and uh, passion for success so they think that you have tremendous amount of willpower and also you have this great passion towards being extremely successful in life and also this builds up self-confidence so um, maybe they think that you're very confident within yourself and also they feel that you have great self-esteem so that's so lovely and also um, this energy of stone protects the person from black magic so maybe your love interest maybe you know they are very popular maybe they have a youtube channel or they come somewhere on social media they are very acknowledged and they are very sought after so maybe they have lots of evil energies on them so it could be impacting them negatively and you know about it so if you procure the beautiful energy of um, the tiger's eye because this is initiated by me we do a special ceremony and initiate this so you can uh, gift it to your loved one or the uh, lovely woman or the man who you have in your subconscious so you can gift it to yourself and you can work on this so that you know you can be protected from the evil eye or the black energies and the negative forces around and also uh, you know they think I mean you think about them that they have great power of manifestation they're so powerful that whatever they manifest they can achieve in their life and also this um, stone speaks that uh, you know the fears could be there in your subconscious when you're thinking about them that maybe they have other suitors there are other contenders around and maybe you fear that you might lose them this kind of a fear could be there or they could also experience this in your case that maybe you know there are other people around who are interested in you and what is their position in their life so if you meditate on the energy of the tiger eye you could really sort out these issues of the fear of the loss of love or romance with this particular partner so that's uh, my sweet pile tree the tiger's eye and the first card your energy has pulled out is the world wow they think the world they think you're their world uh, they think that <laughs> you can you know make a whirlwind or you can really uh, create wonders in their world so what a beautiful energy of uh, the world which has been pulled out for you so what this uh, speaks is that in their subconscious and in their late night thoughts they think that you bring back balance and you bring back harmony in their life's journey and in the zodiac way this speaks of the fixed elements which is um, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio or Aquarius so maybe their sun, moon or rising could be in these zodiac signs and also you know they feel that you have a sense of glow up in their life and you bring a sense of wholeness sense of achievement and also fulfillment and completion because that's what the world card suggests and also mm, maybe your love interest whoever you're thinking about the lovely woman or the handsome man that you're thinking about they had a loss of relationship in the recent past they definitely have gone through their period of remorse and their period of uh, you know dwelling over the loss of a relationship or a association it really uh, you know what should I say it scumbled into fragments and it withered away 
uh, and they are carrying that feeling of pain remorse guilt so that that energy you could be dealing with uh, so in your subconscious you know and maybe you also went through this breakup you know and your uh, mourning and your grieving whatever you lost and the world card does carry that energy you know and the it also carries the energy that a cycle has come to a full circle your life has come to a full circle so full circle means wherever you begin from you're ending at the same point which means that there has been one cycle of romance association life which you have experienced and now it's died it's finished it's over so died in a metaphysical way or maybe uh, in the romance you know there has been a breakup and it's over which is lovely because you have to clear the debris of the past because you have to welcome a beautiful new cycle so a beautiful new cycle is about to transcend and about to begin which is extremely positive and with this love interest of yours uh, it represents you know the world card represents graduation graduating to further levels so if you're already in a romance with the person the love interest marriage could be on the cards you can definitely consider marrying this beautiful person whoever you're thinking about in your subconscious and also um you could have a lovely child with this person this is also a suggestion in the world card wow this this lovely love interest whoever you're thinking at night you know you don't sleep and you keep thinking thinking about this someone this someone can be a very very lovely a uh, kind and a very loving parent to the child which you have together and also you know the um you they think about you when they lie down that they could have a very fulfilling and a very accomplished life with you and your goals are common and you know they could be very purposeful goals together which you experience with each other and also everything can happen into a reality if you come together because at this point of time you know in their subconscious they feel that this is the right time to come together and to have a cohesive energies you with them so this is the perfect wonderful right time and also whatever you know they have envisioned about you and whatever you've envisioned in association with them it's going to really reach a fruition and a wholeness and a completeness because that's what the energy of the world is suggesting here and also it signifies that uh, you know they want to they are planning travel with you they want to go around the world with you and they want to go on a beautiful romantic holiday with you and when you're holidaying together you'll be meeting new friends you'll be traveling um new zones places which you've never traveled before so entering the uh, untraveled terrains and discovering those zones and those plateaus which you've never been um never been to so together they will like to visit all those uh places which ordinarily in their life they could not so you'll give them that uh, power your association will give them this courage that together they will do wonderful globe trotting with you and also at this point of time they think that they can have wonderful uh they will find new appreciation of people with your energy uh coinciding with their energy there will be propensity for lots of global recognition uh having friends clients associations from cross country and over the borders is very much there and also this person who you're thinking about is from a different ethnicity from a different tradition different background Now, whatever your religion is uh this partner has a completely different religion 
which is so interesting. So this is uh, going beyond the, uh, you know, ethnicity, beyond the traditions, beyond the race, because the race is common. We're all human beings and we're all the human race. So this uh, claims uh, energy, which is uh, very cosmopolitan, very global in nature. Maybe the beautiful woman or the man who you're seeking in your dreams, they have this energy that, uh, you know, they appear to be very well-traveled, very well-versed in the customs or uh, dealing with different traditions. And maybe they also have uh, multi-linguistic associations. So that's very wonderful. So also, you know, they think about you that you have gained great wisdom over the years and you have this fabulous experience that you will make the right decisions for them and for yourself as when your partners together. And also you will be helping other people to make right decisions at this point of time. And you'll help your partner also in uh, taking the right decision. And also you will be discovering the right path in the energy of the world card. And also, you know, you'll be sharing your problems together and you'll be finding wonderful solutions together because this is um, speaking of the right time. Karmically, it's the right path, right time. And you can trust the advice and the counsel of your love interest because it's going to be definitely in your favor. So next in line, we have the lovely Six of Cups energy. So your energy has pulled out the Six of Cups. So for my lovely pile number three, the Six of Cups means that, you know, the person who you're thinking about at your nighttime in your subconscious, you feel you have a very strong karmic past life connection with this lovely person. And of course, you have a past life connection with this wonderful person. And you also have this sense of nostalgia. You know, when you're away from them, you really miss them. You get very nostalgic thinking about them and they make you very happy. And you also have wonderful memories together of this life and also past life coming in. And also this represents that, you know, the partner, whoever you have in consideration, whoever you have in your mind, they're very generous with you. And this represents uh, a person who's very naive, who's very happy and who's uh, connected with their inner child. You know, I would not say uh, childish, I would say childlike, who's very connected with the inner child. And also, you know, you are, whenever you're with them, or whenever you're thinking about them, you remember your childhood, you know? Maybe this lover of yours uh, reminds you of your first love back in school, your first crush. So they take you so much back in your uh, past in a happy way, you know? So the nostalgia is there in your connection with your loved one. And also, you know, you tend to return in your mind into happy times. So this partner is almost a reminder of your childhood and your happyhood. Happy childhood. <laughs> and also, you know, uh, this partner of yours also reminds you of your teenage, your early adulthood, the younger you, right? So, and also, you know, Many a times with the association or the thought of this partner at night, you know, you're always reflecting into your past. This partner has the propensity to take you back in your past. And also the aspects which uh, seemingly have completely vanished from your life. This partner, this love interest suppose, is getting all those back. Suppose you forgot to have Fun, you forgot to do the simple things like go out and enjoy ice cream or play football or to do just maybe just sink sink your uh, feet in the water 
or just enjoy the breeze and just look up and count the stars in the skies you know just sweet innocent things which you forgot to do so this association and this love interest of yours is reminding you to do all that and propelling you to do all that so also at this point of time you'll be experimenting with your feelings because you're being connected to your past and this connection of your past will shed light on your future so don't think that you know dwelling in the past is just um, it's useless no no it's not it's only going to prepare you for your future with your upcoming partner and also you feel that your partner is very calm very collective very composed and also you understand that you have to engender intuition in the present and a future is renewed in the energy of the six of cup so that's why you know it carries heavy elements of the past so there is this past life connection past life lover who's quite uh, there showing in your future and it's kind of a renewed future with this sweet love connection of yours and this also means that you know you along with your romantic love interest you could be visiting a place which is very familiar right and you together say if your partner is from other country or some other state you could be visiting that particular place with your partner and also you could be having lovely reunions with this partner and you could be meeting up with old friends their friends your friends and this could hold a lot of meaning for you and also after a period of suffering which the world card was suggesting now it's time because before the six of the cups there is this brooding loss energy of the five of cups so at this point and also the world card was suggesting the breakup and the loss so after that loss and after that dejection that pain that breakup uh, now in the energy of the six of cups this is now a time that your past will find answers to the crisis and the challenges which you're currently facing and you will experience a lot of comfort in love and the love which you are going to get from this love interest and this partner of yours will be very unconditional and also you will gain a lot of strength along with this romantic interest to deal with the trials and tribulations which are hovering around you at this point of time and also um, you know this romantic partner that you have on mind maybe you've had a breakup with her or him in the past and maybe they have reappeared on your mind and uh, this could be a possibility here and love life could happen once again because this shows the energy of renewal something from the past is coming now and your future is associated with this connection so definitely there is nostalgia there is past there is revival and also there is lots of sense of familiarity with the partner in question and you along with this sweet partner of yours you will be healing your past wounds whether is past life wounds or is the present life wounds there will be lot of healing uh, pertain to this relationship and also you know together you'll be looking back at the beautiful times that you spent together which will give you great comfort and also the past might nurture the future so maybe this love association which has come from the past maybe it's going to nurture your future very beautifully the lesson so of the six of cups which is are that it's going to show that, you this partner of yours will show you, you what you should keep in your life your what should life. you remain in your life and what shouldn't remain in your life so that's so lovely and then from the universe we've got the message from the 44 cycles of moon this is the one cycle which is the mutable moon and it speaks that nothing is set in stone 
so in a, in the energy of the mutable moon is trying to tell you that everything is liable for a change so that's the energy that you can shape up any event and which is still developing you can shape it up the way you wish to be and if the situation is um you know far from finalizing uh it's good it's good because nothing is set in stone and whatever your current scene is it's marvelous and you have this propensity to maneuver things and whatever course of action uh you wish to take it can definitely have lot of impact on the outcome however the situation if you're feeling uh the situation is very unstable so sometimes being unstable is actually a good news now you must be thinking why is she saying it's a good news it's a good news because you can bring about changes now when we spoke about maneuvering you can actually bring about good news in the situation and you can change the situation this part of time the universe has given you the power that if you stay a little longer there's really nothing which is set in stone so the best will unfold for you what you have to do is you just have to attune to the energies of the moon and you have to allow your manifestations to be taken over by the energy of the moon and when you do that lord chandra lord moon will bless you and the mutable moon also involves the mutable signs which are gemini virgo sagittarius and pisces so maybe the person who you're thinking about they've got their ascendant sun or moon in the mutable signs so that's all that i have for my lovely pile number 3 my lovely tigers i so i'm going to see you at some other reading and uh, of course if you like the content you must give me a thumbs up and you must join our lovely star seed family here at sara astro tarot and if you have any suggestions for the other upcoming videos you're welcome to write across to me and um, it's om namah shivaya and lots of love and i'm very excited to make um, the part 3 of this reading today was what are their subconscious thoughts about you at night so there'll be part 3 also for this so for the time being from your astro friend sara om namah shivaya and wish you well bye bye star seeds enjoy bye